Hi guys, welcome to UK Fly Fisher. Today you join us again at Elodang. We just had some bad news, but we're gonna crack on with the fishing and hopefully show you some little fishing. Now, one of my top tips is to get there and fish before anyone else. You can see here we're the first people on the fishery. So let's get the fly in the water and see if we can have an early fish. Well, that really shows the importance of an early start. As I said, I'm the first one on here. We've got a fish straight away. Looks like a nice one. Yeah. Incredible cat come off in the next bit, barbless, and we'll get him back. So that tactic of getting in front of the fish early always pays off for me, and it's one that I uh, recommend adding to your armory. Yep. Ah, oh, I came off. Incredible cat again, barbless. But that's, if you can see it there on the camera, that's a lovely fish. Really nice fish, fully finned. That's why he's fighting so hard. Just gonna drop the net and get him back. Let him recover a minute. You can see gorgeous fish, absolutely gorgeous. Really lean, powerhouse. Off swim. So the incredible cat's definitely doing it this morning. Again, maybe 12 casts now we're on. Two fish, so getting down here early. Easterly wind's gonna make it difficult, so let's try and get as many fish as we can, and then we'll talk a bit about the setup and the tackle we're using today. Oh, turned away last minute. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 What's he? 14 and a half. Recording now. Okay, so we came in search of our PB. If you have a quick look at him there. That's a lovely fish. That is. 14 and a half. Taking the gold head down, so let's get him back. Come on, baby. Nice and cold, so you should go back. 
Oh, please wait. Oh, 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 oh. Worth getting out of bed for retreat this morning. You know, you may go from a medium figure eight to a couple poles. Oh, ah, oh, he came off. Ah, oh, that would have been perfect for yeah. the camera then. But uh, very near retrieve often gets a, um, a take. So we just pause every now and again. That just lets it sink through the layers. Then we carry on with the retrieve. Often when you carry on after a pause is when it'll take. Let's get back out there then, because something had to go at that then, so. There's still fish feeding up there. So always with the first pull, get in touch with your flies. And then just mess a bit about, pull, up, pull them about. Odd strip every now and again, speeding it up. And then pause, always pause in your retrieve at some point. And it just lets it sink back down. And then when you start, it's like a kitten and a mouse. When the mouse stops and sits still, the cat will sit still behind it. When you start up again, that's when the mouse, uh, cat will strike. So that's what we're going for. We'll just constantly vary it and see what's working on the day, if something's working. And Incorporate that more into your retrieve. Don't the fish still out there? Oh, oh, he came twice there. Oh, ah, oh, he came three times. Missing them for fun on this incredible hat. contact with your flies. Now on the retrieve just mess it about a bit. Oh, here's another bite. They're definitely on it this morning. Yeah. Oh. We'll give this hook a check because be three or four casts now where we haven't fished, but they're not staying on. Let's have a quick look at the hook. Ah, oh, come here. One of the fish I've missed has left its scale on, so I think that might be stopping them from hooking up properly. Yeah, I can't push even when if I'm pulling, it's not it's not penetrating the hook, so that scale is stopping me hooking up fish. So it's a weird one. And that's very unlikely that you're going to see something like that stopping it, but you can blunt in the hook. I've even had hook uh, shank snap off uh, when I was very uh, new and I bought hooks off eBay. Unfortunately, they weren't the best. So it's always worth checking your point in your hook. So that's three or four fish there that I've missed now because I haven't checked. And all it was was a fish's scale and it wasn't penetrating through it. So we'll get back out there now. We know the hook's clear and sharp. See if we can get one of them to stay on. But there's something new playing a fish ball on the boat. <laughs> That's fish number four to the net. We haven't even been fishing an hour yet. Probably been about 40 minutes. Four fish landed, two lost. And we've had a couple more takes as well. We're having a great day. Ah, incredible cat again. Off in the neck, it's barbless. Quick show to the camera, and off he swims. So it's a great day. As I said, it's important to get down early. Okay, so the setup we've gone for, and that's working for us this morning, is the uh, six foot sink tip super dry line. That's the fast sink tip. That's gonna get us just uh, uh, below the surface into a depth the fish are comfortable feeding at. When it's flat calm like this, the sink tip's very important because you don't want any line on top of the surface that's gonna uh, give away that your flies are not natural. Uh, so basically a sink tip when it's flat calm is perfect. The flies we got on then, uh, the blue flash damsel, and we've also got the incredible cat. Now that's slowly becoming our number one fly, and you've seen this morning that it's hitting fish after fish after fish. We could have landed eight or nine on it. Now it's landed four, and that's a great showing. And then we've got the uh, damsel then, which is also a well-known pattern, and as you saw, the bigger one took the damsel. So we got one that's hitting small fish left, right, and center, and we got one that's uh, specifically hitting big fish. So you can decide which one you prefer. 
but I know that PB for me was very exciting and I really enjoyed catching it. But another tactic we've always taught you about is not overfishing a spot. So we've given this uh, a good go in for about 50 minutes now, and that's usually longer than I'd stay. But we were hitting fish, so I stayed for 50 minutes. So let's have a little move on to Lake Moor now and see if we can find another fish. So we were going to move on to Lake Moor. Unfortunately, Lake Moor is flat calm, and I've never done well on Lake Moor when it's flat calm. So seeing a fish rise at the top of Cranny Moor, we decided to come just around the corner and fish into a nice spot where no fish hang. Now there's a bed of weeds here and what we do is we cast alongside that bed of weeds and like a predator they sit in ambush and when that fly goes past they can't but help take it. Yeah. Just on the edge of the weed like this. <laughs> I think this one's on the dam, but we can see it's boring deep again. But what a day we're having here at Elida. And you saw us in the last video with the naturals. The naturals worked well. But lower fishing in the winter, you can't beat it. You've got plenty of fight this one, he's digging deep. Got another easterly wind, we're always unlucky with the weather. But it also means that the temperature is cold and the water's been cold for a couple of days. So there's plenty of oxygen. So that's another cracking fish. Oh yes, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's a big fish that is. Damsel's come out again. people on YouTube can see you quickly. Oh yes, that's a fat fish. That's a good three and a half pounder that is. Lovely fish, let's get him back. You saw that, um, we obviously caught what we could in that 50 minutes this morning. Moved a little bit further up to Cranny Moor. We were gonna go on Lake Moor, but it's flat calm there. And I never do well on Lake Moor when it's flat calm. So we saw a fish rise in Cranny Moor. First cast in our new spot here, just on the other side of the weed fish on so it improves uh, it proves the point we're moving around and uh, going after fresh fish that haven't seen the fly in a while definitely works so let's get back out there see if we can winkle one or two from this spot oh, Oh, it could. Nothing could happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. I seen him turn. That's lovely. Incredible cast. I cast just in front of him. He's turned slightly, and then I've lost sight of him. He's come for it. So. Fish number seven. Five to the incredible cat now. But, uh, you can't beat it. You can't beat winter fishing with lures. Oh. Small one this time. Fresh stock this one. Oh, blue trout. And off he goes. Oh, look. Shoulders there. So, as you hear, then, Adam's actually helping me because he's spotted this big fish we've seen. Now we're moving around and we don't usually like fishing Lake Moor when it's flat calm, but when you see a big fish, you have to have a cast. So, we had a cast and let's see what happened. You okay? Hi. Yeah. Warmed you up, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing your net. Oh, okay.
Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, Kelvin Hart's Just over 11. No! <laughs> well, that definitely gets rid of the theory that the damsels are taking a nice fish. Because that one took the incredible cat. And that's another double. What an incredible morning we're having here. Let's get him back. Away he goes to fight another day. So after landing that big fish, unfortunately it drew a crowd in and suddenly there was a lot of lines and a lot of pressure on the water. So I decided I'd make my way back up to the top of Cranningwell. Oh, I missed one. Oh, yeah, there we are. Oh, I think it's another nice fish. Oh, it's a nice fish. Another lovely rainbow. Taking a dropper again, that one's on the damsel. Get him netted. Another one on the damsel. So that's six free to the incredible cat. Oh, rightness is this that one? That one was it coming off? Oh, okay. Maybe yours coming off, but I pressed it the wrong way. About a pound and a half. No need to mess about with him. Back to fight another day. But as you can see, coming out in the winter, getting a bit cold, definitely pays off. We've had some cracking fish. It's not even 11 o'clock yet. That's fish number nine. Let's see if we can get ten before lunchtime. Adam. Adam. <laughs> Finally, number Number 10, finally. Change of flies, change of luck. Oh, that's a nice bluey. Lovely little blue. Look at the blue on that. Let's get him back. Off he goes. Nice little blue trout for number 10 then. Um, like you, like I said, this, this spot is where we fished this morning. And we fished it heavily and the fish moved out and moved on. But we've given it a rest now and come back here just after lunch. We couldn't get that temp fish just before lunch, but we finally got it. And after giving a place a rest, you can go back and it'll move in again. So it's always worth returning to the spot. So we've got Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> this one, Brian. Oh, you can't
Okay, so they switched off the white a little bit. The damsel's not getting as much interest. So a change of tactics is, uh, is needed, I think. So we've gone for that uh, pulse fire crazy cat uh, egg. And then on the point, we've got the incredible black cat. Always a killer in winter. Let's see if we can catch one. Okay, so that's the third double of today. Absolutely huge. Um, great day. That's the incredible black cat. Let's get him back. Okay, so that switch from the incredible cat to the incredible black cat definitely proved that it was worthwhile doing. And it certainly made the last half hour enjoyable. I'm guessing five, what do you reckon, Ed? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Did you come here? <laughs> Where well, is it? It's almost eight. Oh, on that little thing? Yeah, on the side. On the indicator. Almost eight pound. Nice. Another one, number 15. He's, he's been through the wars. Okay, so that's another great day on Elodang. It's proven there that the uh, lures are definitely working and it's worth getting out in the winter and risking the cold weather because you're gonna catch a few nice fish. Now, three doubles, that's incredible. I couldn't have asked for a better day than that and a new PB. And you also saw Brian catching that nice double figure on another incredible cat. Some incredible fishing here at Elodang. You wanna get down here and give it a go. I'll put a link to the description of the fishery below so you can check out the fishery. We've had a great day. Thanks for watching and in the next video I'm going to show you how to tie the incredible cow.